everybody. Today we're going to make some easy meatballs with gravy. I'm Anita from ketogenicwoman.com where I share keto and carnivore recipes and other cooking ideas that have helped me to lose almost 140 pounds. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you check out some of my other videos and welcome back returning subscribers. I hope you like today's video. Okay, so I'm going to make some super easy meatballs with a delicious gravy for dinner. Uh, it couldn't be easier. Uh, let's go over the ingredients. I've got in here one pound of ground beef, uh, just whatever I, you know, whatever you can get at the store. This one happens to be lean. You can use extra lean. You can use regular. It doesn't matter. In here will go an egg. And I like to have a, kind of like a filler or binder in these meatballs. And in the past, I've used pork rinds. You can grind them up yourself and, uh, you know, I grind them up and I keep them in, in a jar. I'll link a video down below where it shows different ways of grinding your pork rinds. I'm going to use my carnivore crisp flour. Uh, so I have beef flour and I have some organ flour here. And I actually really like the taste of the organ flour that it brings into the meatballs. So I'm going to use that. So when I use this, I will use one or two tablespoons. If you're going to use something like this, go a little bit more, uh, maybe about three tablespoons in that area or a quarter cup. Uh, you know, just get the right consistency that you like. I will put in some salt, Redmond salt, and some white pepper and roll them up into little tiny balls and uh, fry them up and we'll, then we'll make the gravy. So pretty straightforward, uh, but quite delicious. Before we get into that though, I want to talk about the sponsor of today's video. It's Element. What is Element? It is a very delicious electrolyte drink that gives you everything you, your body needs without any junk ingredients. You can drink it in plain water. You can put it in a cup of coffee. You can even make popsicles with it. When I was sick last week, a whole bunch of you guys told me to make popsicles. So I did and they are delicious. Uh, I recommend using the citrus or the grapefruit for the popsicles. So good, it was just what I needed. Element can help you to balance your electrolytes with a science-backed formula of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. And right now, Element is offering to my viewers this eight flavor sample pack. It has all eight of their regular flavors. You can get this for free from any purchase on their website, which will be linked on the screen as well as down below in the description. You can share this with a friend, try all eight flavors to see which is your favorite. To get your free sample pack, go to drinkelement.com slash ketogenic woman. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com slash ketogenic woman. Thank you, Element, for sponsoring today's video. Let's put these meatballs together. I'm going to put in an egg and I'm going to go with the organ flour from Carnivore Crisp, a half a teaspoon of Redmond salt and half a teaspoon of white pepper. You can certainly use whatever pepper you like or no pepper or uh, you know, you can, as with all my recipes, you can add ingredients or you can take ingredients away. You know, tweak this to your own, whatever you're doing, whether you're doing lion diet, carnivore, ketovore, keto, uh, whatever, whatever suits your particular flavor of the proper human diet. Just going to mix that all in. Now, 
I never think that a fork will do it. I'm getting in there with my hands. It's the only way you can put the love in. I think that is well combined. I'm just going to wash my hands and we are going to make our little meatballs ready for frying. Okay, you can use just a tablespoon or a teaspoon. I like to use the scoop because then I kind of feel like they're all uniform in size pretty much. And I uh, also like to roll them together. <laughs> it's a little more work that way, but it's how I like to do it. I think this should make about 16 meatballs, I think. Somewhere in that neighborhood. So we have some meatballs here. It looks like we have 17. Sometimes it's 16. Uh, we will move over to the stove and fry these babies up and make some delicious gravy. I have the pan warming up. I'm going to put in probably two tablespoons, this looks like, maybe three. Mm. A couple of tablespoons of bacon grease. You can use whatever you like if you've got tallow. Uh, you could use butter even. I like to use bacon grease because it's free. <laughs> so I always save it. Just get this all melted. Probably could have used just a little less, but too late now. Let's just go with it. Okay, that looks like it's nice and warm. I'm gonna let that go for a minute and then I'll be turning them to get all the sides brown. So I just wanted to say that once you get them going, uh, it's better to turn it down to medium so that they stick less to the pan and you can just kind of gently roll them around. I did manage to break a little bit off of a couple of them, but for the most part, they are holding together. Gently turning them. We want it, them to be cooked inside. For those of you that do have the carnivore crisp flour, you don't have to use beef flour. Chicken flour tastes good in here as well. I've, I've done that. And, uh, uh, well, I, I actually use the organ flour in here, but you, so you can use the organ flour, the beef or the chicken, whatever, whatever you have on hand. Um, and of course the, the pork rinds, if that's what you prefer as well. to check if they're done. They should be around 160 and higher. Oh, 145. 164, some are done. 163. Yeah, just gonna give them another minute. There's, they're at various stages of done to almost done. Okay, they're all showing that 160 and above. So I'm going to transfer the meatballs uh, over to this bowl. We're going to use the same pan to make the gravy because we want all those juices that are down there, but I need to get the meatballs out of the way. This would be easier. Use your tongs. So I am going to heat this back up to about medium high and put in a tablespoon of butter. That's about a tablespoon. Just going to scrape off some of the bits from the bottom. That's where all our flavor is. 
So we want to keep that in the gravy. I have some bone broth. Um, I just took some frozen pucks out of the freezer. I freeze them into little muffin cups when I make bone broth and then I just grab however many I want. So these will take a minute to thaw. And then I can keep deglazing the pan, scrape off all these good bits. Turn the heat up a bit now that I've got bone broth ice cubes in there. Um, if you don't have bone broth, you can use chicken stock. Um, you could probably even use water, but you may want to add a little more seasoning at that point. So I am going to be adding in some of the carnivore crisp beef flour to this, and that's going to help thicken it up. I'm um, probably a tablespoon or so. Now, if you don't have this, uh, you can just let this simmer for oh, a good five minutes or so, maybe a little bit longer so that it reduces down and it'll thicken a little bit that way. Uh, you could also add some heavy cream to it and that will uh, also thicken up. So there's different options. You can just, you know, make this, make, make it with what you have if you don't have uh, the same things that, that I have. I will add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste as well. Um, for me, it's white pepper only. Um, but, you know, like I said, add whatever seasonings you would like to add to your gravy. <clears throat> Just need to grab a tablespoon. The um, carnivore crisp flour also adds uh, just a real deep taste or flavor. It's a nice layer of flavor in there. I kind of like it. So I'm going to let that go a minute. And then just, just taste it. Mm, yeah, it doesn't need any salt, actually. Okay, I am going to add just a scoop of sour cream. Now this, again, is optional. Or you could add heavy cream. You know, I'm trying to make sort of a, whoops, a creamy, gravy, but I like the tang of the sour cream. Oops, I don't need that. This is what I was looking for. Okay, just going to smooth this out a bit and then add the meatballs back in. And we will have meatballs and gravy. Get them all coated. So some options to serve this with for carnivores. Uh, you could use noodles. Uh, my carnivore noodles would be nice with this. You could uh, use uh, Chris uh, Cooking Nashville's mashed potatoes. Yes, indeedy, he's got mashed potatoes out there and uh, 
They look awesome. I have not had a chance to try them yet, but I will. Um, that would be perfect with this. So noodles or mashed potatoes would get my vote. Either of the two would be great. And I will link both below in case you want to try either one of them. So uh, let's take this back over there and give it a try. Oh boy, do these ever smell amazing and look amazing. Do they taste amazing? Yes, they do, because I made them last week too. <laughs> so I know they do, but I am going to dish them up. Now I'm, you know, now that I've said the mashed potatoes or the noodles, I'm really regretting not having anything for these to go on. But I think, I think this is fine. I'm just getting my appetite back after a short but painful illness last week and uh, I think this is probably just right for me is to have a bowl of meatballs. Let's give them a try. Mm. That gravy is so good and the meatballs as well. Even plain they would be good but yeah I, I really like them and I hope you give them a try. They're super easy to make as you saw and the gravy is super easy to make. So uh, enjoy. We'll see you guys on the next video. We might have a problem with the dogs.